Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another UV mapping tutorial. This time we are going to be covering how to UV map something a little bit more complicated than a soul or a barrel. We're going to be UV mapping the human head. All right, so the purpose of this tutorial is to show you some of the tools in Maya 2022. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is my character and she looks a little sad, but I'm going to go over here to the top right under workspace and choose UV editing. I'm going to make a selection and you can see that it's not looking so, so good. Her whole body and everything is just in this little square. Okay. Plenty to work with. It's only uphill from here. Let's start off by turning off the grid because that can be a little bit distracting. And I also just want to focus on the head. Now, for the purpose of this exercise, I am going to extract her head from her body so that I can just focus on that particular part. And the only reason for this is because the body is connected and I want to try to avoid uh, all the distractions from the UV mapping. So I'm just going to go in and select my faces here. Make sure that you kind of look around and grab only the faces that you need. I'm going to go to Edit Mesh Extract. And just like that, we have a head. Awesome. All right, I'm going to delete the history, freeze the transformations. And I'm also going to hide the other parts. Hide, Control H. OK. I'd like to start off with, you know, the simple stuff, which is going to be the neck. So I'm going to grab the neck. And again, just kind of, oh, wow, I actually clicked and dragged and grabbed it perfectly, which is miraculous. It never happens. So I have the neck selected and I'm going to go up to the UVs. And we have a couple of options and one of them is cylindrical. The neck is like a cylinder. So let's go ahead and close those two and move it aside. So the idea of this uh, particular video is that I'm going to start projecting everything and then I'm going to start unfolding once I have everything projected. So the things that I'm going to project separately is going to be the neck, uh, the ears, because they have a tendency to need their own TLC, tender love and care, and also the little mouth bag in here because sometimes that can uh, affect the UV layout. So that being said, let's go ahead and grab the head, which is basically all of these faces here. The next UV should be separated from the face. And just like before, I'm going to choose a cylindrical just to make sure my UVs are all connected. Okay, now that doesn't mean we're done. There's definitely a lot of things we can fix, but let's click on the grid and see what it looks like. So it's okay, not too bad. There's probably issues at the top, of course, and of course there's issues in the ears and a couple other areas. And that's why this tool right here is very handy. It shows us if there's any overlapping UVs. It also shows us if there's any UVs that are facing the wrong way. And if you want to, you can click on this one, which also shows you stretching and compression. So red is stretching and blue is compressed. So the areas around the neck is compressed and the areas around the eyes, nose and mouth is stretched. So we want to try to avoid these, this pulling. All right, gonna turn that off. And let's project the ears. So the ears are its own thing. They're very complicated, but let's just make a selection in the faces and I'm gonna turn off the grid just because it's easier to see and also turn this one off. So it's easier to see in gray mode. And let me just go ahead and deselect some of the bigger chunks. And of course, deselect these faces here. Awesome. Okay. Press W to make sure the UVs are okay. Or you can also sel isolate select to make sure you just have those faces. And then we can UV map, planar map, and I'm going to go to the options. I'm going to choose camera, keep image with height ratio active, and then apply. There it is. Move it out of the way. Okay, great. So it looks pretty good with the grid, a little stretching, little, little stretching on the sides, and it looks pretty good on the back, but we do have overlapping UV. So if I click on this, you'll notice that it's kind of like this purple reddish color. That means that it's overlapped. So we need to do a little bit of editing. So I'm going to right click edge I'm going to double click on the back loop here. And because I've UV mapped this object before, I know that there's a tiny little issue with the, the geometry, something that I should probably fix, but I'm hoping this can be a lesson for you. That because when I double click on this edge and then I hit cut, so shift right click cut, it looks like visually, it looks like everything's working great. But when I grab the UVs and try to move it, you're gonna notice that they're still connected. 
So there's still something attached. And it turns out to be this tiny little... Uh, oh my goodness, I got to move my camera right here. There's an edge that is actually... There's a vertice that's connecting the skull or the back of the ear with the front of the ear and therefore is causing some errors. Um, no big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and select my edges here and then just shift right click cut and let me see if that works i'm gonna go to uvs double click and move it aside there we go it's split perfect okay so now what we want to do next is since we have this here let's flip so since i have this ear selected that's reverse it's red so it's reverse i'm going to shift right click and then choose flip and now i can unfold now Usually in the past, I used to select UVs and then click on unfold and maybe hit fix. And then you get some interesting effects, which I really don't like. And then you get this crazy effect. So just click, I'm going to keep clicking undo until it goes away. I'm not sure what the issue is. Um, however, I found a way around it. I'm going to shift right click and instead of UVs, click on UV shell. So select the shell and then click on unfold. And if you want to, you can always tell it to fix non-manifold geometry. There you go. Click on these guys here. Same thing, unfold, and there we go. Nice, beautiful unfolded ear. And since I have this already in shells, just select that neck, click on unfold, and there we go. We have beautiful UV mapped neck. All right. So that being said, I'm gonna focus on the other ear. So let me go to face mode, turn this off, cause or the grid off at least. Turn all this off and let's grab the ear again. Let's deselect these pieces here, Oop. like so. And I'm gonna go a little bit faster because I already explained what the process is. And in this case, it's just about making it happen. All right, face the ear, UV map, planar mapping. The options are still the same. So I don't need to go into the options. Then I am going to go to edges and double click. Then I got to go in here and struggle a little bit, finding that perfect edge that needs to be cut. So most of it seems to be already cut, which is great. Actually, maybe I'm lucky. And let's see, UV map, UVs. Let me grab one. Nope. Okay, so that means that I got to grab the right edges. So let me... Select an edge, focus here. All right, let's grab some edges. Shift right click, cut. Let's double click and there it is. I think there's also another UV that, a UV set that needs to be, that got disconnected and that's okay. Let's just double click on our edges, make sure that it went all the way across, which it did not, so no problem. Let's go ahead and grab these and shift right click cut. All right, double click. There you go. Let's grab these guys here and shift right click flip. And let's go ahead and unfold. So remember, right click, grab the UV shell and then click on unfold. Oh, there's a big gap there. I need to fix that. Unfold. Select this one, unfold. All right, so we're getting there. Awesome, let's see if we can attach some of these edges. So that belongs together, shift right click, stitch together. Or if that doesn't work, try so. Then let me kind of travel through this and see if I can find other ones that actually attach. So if you highlight one and it highlights another one, that means they belong together. I'm not a big fan of overlapping, so that's why I moved that one. And this one's also can be attached, so shift right click. So, and I think the rest are independent. So if you want, you can just kind of move them closer together. It's at the back of the ear. Most people are not gonna see that, so I think I'm gonna be okay. All right, let's, oops, let's grab UVs and just kind of move them closer together. Let me grab my UVs, move it around. Okay, now the inside of the mouth. So usually the mouth bag is the character talks. There's actually something inside the mouth. 
Uh, UV mapping wise, you can do just about anything with it because a lot of the times it's just kind of like a dark red as long as there's something there. Now, of course, if the character is going to open up their mouth and it's like a dentist shot and they need to do all the stuff, then you ha you do have to spend the time texturing it. In this scenario, this character is just going to talk normally. So let's UV map this anyway. Uh, I'm going to choose cylindrical mapping. So close it, click on the little red T to grab the rotation manipulator and just rotate it until it looks kind of like a square as much as possible, a rectangle in this case. I'm going to flip it, but let's grab UVs. Shift right click, flip, and then again, grab that UV shell and unfold. All right, cool. So now that we have just about everything UV mapped, now it's time for the big one, the head. So right now it looks okay. And if I try to grab the shell and unfold, it's gonna look pretty nice around the eyes and everything, but the issue is going to be the top of the head. So I'm gonna show you a little trick and that trick is called the cut. It's called the football cut. And by football, I mean American football. So let's uh, turn off the grid for now, turn off the color. And the way it works is that you wanna go, you want the edge to go up the head and then you're gonna shift select these guys it almost, it's going to look like a, like a Y. So it also looks like a fo American football goal, whatever it is. <laughs> so we have these and then we're going to cut. So shift, right click, cut. Now the issue is that there's these extra cuts here that we really don't need. We actually want these to be together. So I'm selecting those cuts and shift, right click, stitch together. There you go. So it should look just like this interesting, like a Y. So again, let's grab that UV shell and then we're going to unfold. And you should get something that looks like this with the little flap at the top. And if I turn on the UVs, you're going to notice that it looks a lot better. We still have a little bit of overlapping UVs, but in general, the shape of the head's looking really great. So let me just go to object mode so you can see how the textures are falling onto the object. So we have nice skull over here. We have our ears and we have our neck and everything is ready to go. Awesome. We can also take a look at the stretching and you'll notice that it's a, definitely better in a lot of areas, which is great. Again, you can always try again, unfold. It's looking a lot better. Okay. All right. So next, the last step is to place it into the zero one to one space. But we also need to talk about textile density. So you'll notice that the ears have a lot of little squares, which means that it has a lot of texture information. And then you'll notice that the head has big squares and the neck is kind of like medium square. So they all have different types of texture information. We want to make sure that the, they share the same amount. So now we're talking about textile. So in your UV toolkit, open up transform. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that there is this textile density. All right. So you're going to click on get, and then you're going to click on set. And that's going to change all the UVs to the same size. And now you can go down here and click on layout. So down here at the bottom, there's a layout button. Layout. It's going to put everything into the zero to one space. Now you can be satisfied with this. I can be happy with this as well. They all share the same textile information and we can leave it but I usually tweak things around so that it fits a little bit better. So for example, I might want to move this mouth bag to a corner that no one's really going to notice. And I actually like to keep things together. So for example, the, this is the right ear, the character's right. So I want to make sure that the right ear are kind of close together. And if I'm facing the UVs like the character, then her right ear would be on this side. So this is going to be her left ear. So I'm going to move it over here. So these are the little things that I do to kind of make it easy for me to texture. So let me grab this one, drag it over here. And we've got little pieces here. So that one belongs to this ear. And then this piece belongs to this ear. And then this one belongs to this ear. All right, let's see if I can find a home for this one. There it is. Shift right click, stitch together. The, the less pieces, the better, in my opinion. For example, you can stitch that one together. So 
things like that. So the less pieces, the better it's going to be. All right, I'm just going to move a couple of things again. Cool. Let's take a look at this one and see if I can find a little home for it, just so I have less pieces. Shift right click, stitch together. And again, if you're more than welcome to grab the UV shell and unfold, if you want to kind of fit them together a little bit better. Looks nice. All right, let's grab these shells and just move them. I'm going to move the head up just because I'm think the head should be at the top. Oops, and the neck should be at the bottom. So I'm going to grab that. And of course, I'm going to need to grab those ears. So you can put it up here at the top or you can put them at the bottom. Completely up to you. And the mouth bag. All right. There you go. Let's go to object mode. Let's go back into Maya Classic. And our character is now UV map. So the biggest thing is not to forget to delete your history. Look at all those inputs. That's all the work that we did to create this UV map. So let's go ahead and delete that history. And now this character is ready to be exported into whatever you want. You can go into Photoshop and texture her skin, or you can go to Substance Painter, which I think that's the better way to go. All right, well, hopefully you guys found that helpful. Let me go back to UV editing. There we go. Here we are. Beautiful. Cool. Easy to texture. All right, I hope you guys found that helpful. Let me know by leaving a comment below. If you like it, please click on the little thumbs up that says, yes, I like this video and I want to see more. And also feel free to share these videos. It's if you feel like someone's trying to work on a character and they need a little bit of help and you think my videos can help, that would be amazing. If you can share this video with them so they can become stronger artists like you, that would be fantastic. And also take a look at academicphoenixplus.com for free tutorials, free videos, well, free trainings, free 3D models, and so much more. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Keep creating, and I will see you next time.